We're on a run, viewers, and today we take on Arsenal. As I said then, viewers, we are on a run. And that is a run of form. It doesn't look like it straight away. After that Liverpool game where we last met up, we lost 3-2 to Fulham in the 94th minute in a game I was gutted to lose. If we'd have got a point there, I'd have been delighted after being down to 10 men in the 34th minute. Another loss came after that. An absolute battering at home to West Ham with Oliver Skip getting a goal for us in the 69th minute. Another loss ensued after that, then views away from home. Again, another late goal. A game where we performed really, really well in. And then in the 73rd minute, Oscar Bob put Blackburn one up. 79th minute, we got a penalty and equalised. 89th minute, late heartbreak once again, and we lost out on a point after Oliver Skip was sent off for the second time this season. And then another bump down to West, away from home, with Dominic Solanke scoring our only goal against Leeds United, which made it one all. And then Leeds turned the court screw, turned the court screw, turned the screw, and won 4 1. And then we made a slight tactical change, and it all got better. We have won two games on the bounce, two home games, where we beat Newcastle 2 1, where we had two disallowed goals as well, so we could have scored four. Sol and Sharman getting the goals for us in that victory. And then at home again, we dominated against Southampton with a 4-1 win, two braces, Solanke got a brace and Sharman got a brace as well in a game we absolutely dominated where we won all at one point but we quickly turned the tables with Sharman in the 65th minute and we didn't look back from there. So those results have seen us climb up the table, we are now on joint 18th in the league with five teams on nine points as West Brom, Wolves, Leicester, us and Blackburn, even more sickening that we lost that Blackburn game because if we'd have beaten them or at least got a point, we'd have been we, we wouldn't even be in the relegation zone. Arsenal currently sitting in nine, six points ahead of us. Can we pick up a victory? Can we continue this run of form? Let's go have a look at the starting eleven and find out. So the starting eleven today is Miguel Archer and goal, a bat for Fran Garcia, Jimenez, Archer and Clark, Skip and Ramonski in the middle, Solo on the left, Vastaran on the right. And Sharman and Solanke leading the line. That seems to be a dangerous pair. And they made light work of Southampton. Can they do it today at the Emirates against the Gunners? Let's get that game kicked off and find out. It's going to be a tough game. But the run of form we're in. Who knows? Confidence is at a high. Arsenal not doing as well as they should. Let's see if we can get the three points. It'd be quite the upset. So we have told the boys we have got nothing to lose here. And I mean, sending that with that confidence in the form that we're in with those two back-to-back -back wins, you never know what could happen. Just tell the boys to go out there and enjoy the game as Arsenal fly a shot past the post within three minutes here at the Emirates. And that's been the only chance so far as we just crossed the 10-minute mark in this game. Although Matthias with a free kick in a dangerous area, whips it round the post. Thankfully, it had gone the wrong side. That would have been a really, really good free kick. A lot of bend on that. But thankfully, it remained nil-nil. Results staying as they are. See us move out of the bottom three, which is crucial for Starring on this right-hand side. We are in all grade today. Ball across Ramonski and Dyer in the Arsenal net. Collects the ball comfortably after just 20 minutes. He will look to play it long, straight down the middle. Can we deal with it? It's headed on. And Clark is equal to it. Jimenez into Miglaccio. Clark on this right-hand side finds the star and into Skip in the middle. That's a poor ball back, which is given away straight to Darwin. Ooh, we're lucky that no challenge was felt from behind there because we definitely would have given away a penalty. Definitely been down to 10 men. But Oliver Skip, not really showing the quality he's got there. Very poor decision from him there to pass it back when there's all that space around him. Really, really poor. Clark heads it away again. We are under the cosh a little bit here. Arsenal just starting to pile pressure on. And Martinelli, you would have put your house on him to bury that if you wanted to lose it. As he has pushed the ball around the corner of the post into the stand and wide. Arthur with the corner. Oh, and there it is. Hegan scores. Shea Hegan from the corner in that six-yard area. Disappointing way to score. Not really good defending from ourselves there. We've just let the ball come in. Miglaccio, he's... We've drifted back. The man on the line as well hasn't covered himself in glory. And unfortunately, we do go 1-0 down just before half-time where we've managed to keep Arsenal out. Saka down to Darwin and Miglaccio somehow spills the ball round the post there. 
Arsenal will have a resulting corner. Can we defend this one a little bit better? It's gone over the bar now with that header. And we are in at half-time. I think if we say the right things to the boys here, we might be able to G them up. I mean, we've had three shots, two on target, but we've had more of the ball than Arsenal. We just need to become a little bit more clinical. It's always going to be difficult to break down an Arsenal team, but if we can hit them once on the counter, maybe even get a set piece, you never know what could happen. We could snatch a draw here. We're going to point the finger, tell the boys that wasn't good enough. They know it. I mean, it's it's unfair to say it wasn't good enough in the respects of if you lose 1-0 to so Arsenal, there's no disgrace. But not to really create the chances that we have been doing, especially over the last few games, is really poor on our part. And that's, I mean, that's a free header on the penalty spot where we shouldn't be giving away those efforts. Clark into skip. Will he get a good ball in? Gives it back to Clark. Into the star, and what we do plays it shots, Clarky and ball in. Solanke is there, and Solanke gets his fourth of the season, heads the ball in, and we are back on level terms. Ten minutes into the second half, and again, that's the point I was making. If we are more clinical, we are going to be very astute this season with our headers. We seem to be finding the back of the net now and being able to just gel. This new formation seems to suit us a heck of a lot better. Lovely ball by Clark into the box and Solanke gets in between the two defenders and makes a nuisance of himself. Archer into skip. The, I mean, momentum's definitely swung in our favour here as we go to Clark again on this right-hand side. What will he do? He was instrumental in the build-up of the last one. Radomonski not really clicked on. He's won the ball back though in the centre circle. Sola on this left. Finds a good ball to Vestar and will he play it back to Clark or will he go alone? He's turned in on himself. Gives it to Clark. He whips a good ball in again. Solanke's waiting and it is headed away. Dominic Solanke, has, I mean, I was unsure when we signed him, and he's proved to be an absolute gift as Arsenal go down the other end and hit the post, and thankfully it spared any blushes. Radomonski just loses the ball there just before the hour mark. 32 minutes of this game remaining, and Arsenal are now starting to pile the pressure on. Once again, this momentum has swung, but Carson Clark wins the ball back to the star, and Solanke, he drifts out to his right-hand side. Plenty of room for him to run into. On this far side, will he? Oh, he's just won a corner. He's won a throw in rather from nothing. And here is a throw in for Arsenal. Next highlight Morris on this right hand side. He is oh, Sola's done really well defensively there. Clears the ball away to Sharman, who just gives the ball away cheaply. A cheap waste of possession. Pedri's in, and it's 2 1. It's 2 1. We've given away the ball cheaply on our right. Arsenal cut the ball across the middle there. That's the key thing. Morris cuts this ball across to the left-hand side to Arthur. Martinelli, one-touch finishing, one-touch passing into Pedri. Plenty of room in front of him because I think everyone was still just drifted over to this near side here and wasn't really in the right position and Arsenal have punished us. I'm going to drop some encouragement because we have improved this second half massively. Van Garcia into solo on this left. Loses the ball cheaply once again. It's not the first time that we've seen him do that. Arsenal will look to come forward with 80, 28 minutes remaining, rather. Jimenez, oh, and we've won the ball back. Sola, but again, plays a dangerous ball. Instead of standing on the ball and twisting to see what's open in front of me, he's looking ahead, and he's playing it back it's, oh, towards the danger area. And as we've conceded, Nunes now, Arsenal showing their quality in the 63rd minute once again. Acres of space in this midfield. Look at the gaps we're giving away here. I mean, look at this, Morris. Good ball in, Brown, Darwin rather, just gets the ball over our defender there. I think it's Archer, who's been out-jumped really, really poor from us here so far in this last 10 minutes or so. We started out like a house on fire in the second half, and it's we've just we've just gone shy on ourselves. Sharman's in there. Ooh, he's going to be offside. He's going to be offside. I mean, that really, really could have changed the course of this game, but when you look at the goal times... 62, I mean, two goals in a minute. Two goals in a minute. You're never going to win, are you? I mean, that would have been three goals in two minutes of football. But my word, I think we are desperately, desperately unlucky there. But to concede in the 62nd, 63rd minute really just blows any wind out of your sails that we had built up. And it was just a couple of poor bits of players. Clark has lunged in, could well be sent off here. Not for the first time this season we'll see in a red card on camera. Are we going to see another one? I think we are, we are. And that changes plans, doesn't it? I think we'll have to bring a striker off. I mean, Sharman, 6.10, really, really poor from him today. We'll bring Levenshi on. Solanke goes up top on his own. And 
think we'll make a change in the midfield as well. We'll bring Win on for... I mean, Skip and Radomonski is not having a good game. We'll bring him on for Radomonski. Like I said, Arsenal's always going to be a tough game, but I just think the way we let ourselves down after conceding, after scoring our goal, rather, two bits of play have just really split us apart, but it was sloppy, sloppy play from us, which we've continued to show since conceding. And I think now we're down to 10 men. Arsenal are just going to continue to pile the pressure on. Ball in, and again, they've hit the post. No, again, we're a yard off in that area, and it's really starting to show the quality and the gap that we are leaving, how much that one extra yard can give Arsenal. Sola, ball in, and it's headed away. Arthur will look to break forward for Arsenal here. Long ball over the top into Morris. Plenty of room for him to move into, but no chances for anybody else as he has gone alone and hit the post. And we drop down to second bottom in the league, which is a shame. After such a good run of form, those two, two big wins, they are big wins for us. It's just come undone a little bit here. What I was thinking, though, at one point is we might have ended up not actually winning a game this season or drawing it. Not picking up many points, put it that way, because we've already won, haven't we? Either way, we are struggling, and I think those last two games showed that we can actually do things in this league. But against the bigger boys, this is where our season could have come unstuck because... I'm just thinking that the the momentum that these games where we're not playing the bigger boys build up could be really good. However, if we get hammered, three, four, five, it could really just lower confidence, which can affect things for quite a while. And I think that did show with that poor run of form we put together before the two wins as Bukuru is in here, but a great challenge by Jimenez. But Aaron's picked it up, ball in. How on earth did they miss that? Arsenal should have had six or seven today. They've had 24 shots. On to, well, 24 shots and 9 to our net. And that's another one. That is another one. 25 and 10. We've had 6 and 5. I mean, we've been... I mean, that's, that's a good ratio, isn't it? 6 shots, 5 on target. There's a net again. Another shot. But we've just faced so many. But to go down to 10 men, I think, really swung the balance. And to concede those two quick goals. I think if we hadn't conceded that second goal so quickly, things might have just been a little bit... More of an open game, whereas I think Arsenal were going in for the kill and we couldn't withstand the pressure today. We're going to thrash the arms. Tell the boys we expect to see him in training. I think after we scored, we went into our shells a little bit. Thought we were going to nick something for the game and tried to kill it out far too early. The 62nd, 63rd minute goals finished the game and Arsenal just went in for more goals after that. And ultimately, that result sees us stay in 18th position, but they're now just three teams on nine points. Leicester, us, and West Brom. West Brom, a team that we've already beaten. So Leicester are another team that we should be looking at picking points up off. Blackburn have won, which is quite a big result for them against Fulham. And that sees them just rise up that table a little bit more. I think what we'll do is, viewers, we will come back straight away and we will play the Manchester City game. They're currently top of the table. Again, we'll give ourselves a very good test here. And then we've got a run of form coming up where we could pick up some points. And I'm already looking ahead to maybe a Sheffield United-Norwich game. Two teams that aren't a million miles away from us and two games where we could certainly pick up points. But we will be back tomorrow for the Manchester City game, which is directly after this game. But if you have enjoyed that, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share the video around and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.